This is Twit. My app cap today is something Corey Doctorow <gasps> told me about. You know Corey. Mm -hmm. Corey is a, a prolific author. Uh, he loves audiobooks, as we all do. Mm -hmm. But he has a problem with copy protection. In fact, he's kind of notorious uh, for his, uh, you know, uh, unwillingness to use copy protection of mm -hmm. any kind. In fact, s some of his books he just puts on the Internet and says, pay me if you want to. He's that kind of guy. I love Corey. A commie. But... <laughs> Uh, he told me that he does not allow his books on audible.com because all audible books have copy protection. He says he uses downpour. So I had to say, well, let me try this out. Now, I am still a big audible user, but I did get a subscription to downpour because downpour uh, it has many of the same books. It has a really great app. And the nice thing is you can download the book and then put it on another device and not even use the downpour app to play it back. Mm -hmm. So that makes it very uh, flexible. Uh, I what I try to do with downpour is buy classics, books that I know that I'm going to want to have forever, like The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich or Ulysses by James Joyce. Mm -hmm. So, because I my feeling is, uh, you know, I have a great Audible library, but then there's then there's the books I will always want to have, and of course the new one which just came out today, Neil Stevenson's Fall. It doesn't have all the features of Audible. Doesn't have the Audible originals. Uh, but it does, you know, it'll play back. That he would for all practical purposes. It's the same the audio that Audible has case. because the publishers record these. Not all books don't have copy protection. Some do. Uh, and just like Audible, you can't browse, you know, can't buy on uh, the iOS app. You have to go to their website. But they have pretty much all the same books. In fact, they have a few more because they have Cory Doctorow's books, among others. And if you're a Cory Doctorow fan... Oh, and Gary Sinise, I, I love him. So this is uh, another alternative. I think I pay twelve ninety five a month <clears throat> for a credit a month. So that generally is one book, although the new uh, Neil Stevenson, which I was just playing, just came out today, um, Fa Fall or Dodge in Hell, uh, that's two credits because it's 31 hours, mm. 900 pages. Have you read Corey's Radicalized? Yeah, I love Corey's stuff. Yeah. All of his stuff is fantastic. Radicalize is his newest, and it is amazing. So if you are listening to Corey Doctorow, or you'd like to listen, I usually buy his books because uh, I like to have the physical copy of his books, so I have most of these at home. But if you do like to listen, by the way, Down and Out in the Magic Kingdom is fantastic. Um, oh, it looks like you can buy, because the so Radicalize there is for short novellas, and it looks like you can... By Read the, by Will Wheaton. Yeah, you can yeah. buy the novellas separately. Interesting. Which is interesting too. Or buy it for ten ninety nine. Yeah. The radicalized novellas. So yeah. So uh, if you're looking for Cory Doctorow, or you're looking for an alternative to Audible uh, that doesn't have copy protection, or you just want to see what else is out there, I'm I'm really happy with Downpour. I think it is owned by uh, Blackstone Audio. Yeah, it which said is it was owned by Blackstone. One of the big audiobook uh, publishers. Right, because I hear that a lot. Like. This is Blackstone brought to you by Audio. Blackstone Audio. Yeah. Aud so what it won't have is aud anything Audible original. And uh, by the way, Audible is doing a lot more Audible mm -hmm. originals. So I think that's probably one of the reasons is to fend off, stave off uh, competition. Mm -hmm. But any, but almost every book that's published that has an audio version is on there because uh, these are done by the publisher and then offered in mm -hmm. a variety of places. Also, shout out to your local library um, if they use. Always use. Overcast, try that. Yep. You yep. can listen to audiobooks to yep. rent them. So there you go, ladies and Downpour. gentlemen. Downpour, just an alternative, something else you can look at. I am very excited. This is the, the real reason I actually have it is because I have two audiobooks from Audible and I have a bunch of credits on Downpour. That way I can get more audiobooks. And uh, I had run out of credits on Audible, so I, I immediately went over to get Fall the, today when it came out at midnight today. Uh, I'm very excited about Neil Stevenson. I love his stuff. And the reviews are very good so far on Fall.